If you look up the definition of tech sales on Google, you'll see that tech sales is the process of selling technology as a software, hardware, or an IT service. And there are many different names for those who work in tech sales. It can be referred to as technical sales, technology sales, software sales, and some of the entry-level roles are business development representative or software development representative. And if you work in tech sales, you'll typically be selling to other businesses. This is known as B2B sales as opposed to B2C. B2C means business to customer. This would be a typical sales job like working at a cell phone store or being a used car salesman. B2B means business to business. This is the type of selling that you would be doing in tech sales. Business to business tends to be much higher ticket sales. So with each sale, you would have a much larger commission. Plus, it tends to be a lot less pushy and a lot more about understanding what your customers' needs are and how your company can best solve their problems. So what are some of the steps in the tech sales cycle? Finding leads, contacting leads, creating sales reports, coordinating with other members of the sales and marketing team, building a strong and stable clientele, managing the clientele to make sure that they're happy, holding meetings with your clients, which sometimes might involve traveling, studying and understanding your clients' businesses as well as the industries that they're in, and sometimes even helping the rest of the company to create products in order to solve your clients' problems. Now, you might be wondering, why am I even talking about tech sales? Well, the reason I'm talking about tech sales right now on this channel is because, put simply, it's by far one of the best opportunities right now. There are 18-year-olds that are going into tech sales and making somewhere between eighty dollars and $100,000 after their first year. I recently did an interview on this channel with Della, who is a stay-at-home mom going to college, who decided to get into tech sales and landed a six-figure job with her dream company within a month and a half. So not only is there a very low barrier to entry where you don't need a college degree or any previous experience, but on top of that, you can make really really good money right off the bat. And it's not just the entry level job that pays well. I've interviewed other people on this channel, for instance, someone who was four years in making around $220,000 a year, and somebody who had some background experience and was about five years into their tech sales career, making over $540,000 a year. So with all this opportunity in tech sales, why isn't everyone going into it? Well, first of all, it's not that well known. And second of all, a lot of people don't think that they have the skills to do well in tech sales. And to be honest, sales isn't for everyone. So here are some of the skills that you would need to develop in order to be successful in tech sales. Obviously, you'd have to have some technical sales skills. You'd also wanna have good interpersonal skills. You wanna be the type of person who likes to learn every single day and has a willingness to always learn new products due to the constant innovation in the tech world. You have to have decent levels of literacy and a basic understanding of technology. You have to have the capability of using sales tools in order to aid the sales transaction. And most of all, you need to have a passion for solving problems and selling to your clients. So what are some of the jobs within tech sales? Well, I already mentioned two of the names for the entry level jobs, and they're essentially the same thing, but at different companies, they might have slightly different job descriptions. So for instance, sales development representative and business development representative are almost the same. These are also known as SDR and BDR. At some companies, SDRs might convert hot and cold leads to leads that are sales qualified. And at some companies, BDRs handle initial contact with potential clients. And that basically means that they outreach to people and collect leads. Another position you might move into is inside sales representative. They tend to not meet clients in person, but they do handle them through the telephone or online. A step up from this would be an account executive. These are typically the ones that would actually be speaking to the clients once they're qualified. A step up from this would be an account manager. Account managers would typically handle post-sale transactions to assure customer satisfaction. And down the line, there would be even yet other positions. For instance, customer success managers, renewal specialists, business development managers, sales managers, sales directors, VP of sales, country manager, strategic partnership managers, and strategic alliance managers. And in some of these higher level positions, you can literally make over a million dollars a year, and in rare cases, over 10 million. But typically, lower level tech sales representatives are gonna make somewhere between 50 and $80,000 a year. And after a year or two, it's very common to see people break into the $100,000 a year range. Now, I have an entire playlist of people who have broken into tech sales. You should definitely check that out because it's extremely insightful. One of the people I interviewed was my friend Troy, who owns the company Course Careers, which specializes in getting people into tech sales. 
They not only train people, but they also get them guaranteed interviews at their partner companies. Now, many tech sales boot camps out there are $20,000, sometimes even $25,000 or $30,000. However, Troy's company only charges $450. And luckily, Troy did create a free training if you're interested in figuring out whether tech sales is a good fit for you. You can check that out down in the description as well as the pinned comment. And if you choose to use their service, you can use my coupon code SHANE50 for $50 off. Check out the playlist of people who have gotten into tech sales right here. And and I'll see you next time.